general impact of the Republican majority board decisions is really to slant the case law in favor of employers and the employer's position. They had three main decisions just this summer that really gave the power to employers to control. One was a UPMC hospital decision. And in that case, they basically said that union organizers that are coming to a public hospital cafeteria and having lunch with employees in an attempt to organize, that an employer has a right to kick them out. One other major precedent that the Republican majority impacted was the standard applied when looking at unilateral change to bargaining terms. Historically, there's always been this standard of clear and unmistakable waiver. Now the board said, well, no, hold up, we'll wait. You know, if there's a management rights provision that really gave them the ability to do that, uh, then we won't really look at clear and unmistakable waiver. That's also gonna be the fight at the bargaining table in terms of making sure that uh, language in the management rights clause gives the broadest width of action. This fall, we will most likely continue to see limits placed on ability to organize and case law that favors unions. We may see decisions that echo a May 2019 memo that came out from General Counsel Peter Robb that kind of set a future agenda. We may also see some proposed changes that the board has indicated they would make using the rulemaking process. Specifically, they've indicated that they'd like to make changes to how elections are done. So you might see some changes in the actual timing it takes to go to an election um, and the challenges that an employer is permitted to make to a petition. Mm -hmm.